Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So I've had this idea for a while and I've really wanted to make it. Uh, for Christmas I'm going to be making my nephew a, essentially a geocache locator. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be hiding my own geocaches around where he lives and then taking those GPS locations and programming them into this little device. And I'm going to be making it from parts I already have on hand, an Adafruit trinket and some other things, GPS. I'm also going to make it so it's not like soldered together, it's going to be using jumper cables and everything so that if he gets bored with it in the future, we can turn it into something else even cooler later on. So I'm going to be building this as we go, as usual, so follow along, let's go. Okay, here are the parts I will be using. I've just kind of found a bunch of stuff that I have lying around. So, like I mentioned, Adafruit Trinket. This is a little LiPo charger that I'm going to cut off the end of this USB cable and connect it to the Trinket so that there'll just be one USB port needed. Two buttons. This is a GPS module. Uh, this is a compass doesn't have the accelerometer on it so it's not as good I've used it before it's kind of it'll be good enough because we'll know that we're holding it flat then we've got a battery that I need to solder on some wires there and uh, a neopixel ring also from Adafruit probably throw the switch in there unless I can find a smaller one a 5 volt power booster which will take the battery voltage and boost it to 5 volts and yeah, a bunch of jumpers will be needed too. So while that is 3D printing, I'll put this all together and then we'll test it out, maybe write some code for it and make sure everything's working. Let's go. Okay, we have it all assembled. The lights are working, the compass is working, the GPS is working, and it charges from the one port on the back here. So to get this all assembled, I was only using jumpers, and I had a lot of ground connections, and uh, there was 5 volt lines and 3.3 volt lines. So what I did was I took some of these headers, and I soldered on a header to the back of them so that they're all connected, and I used those to kind of jumper all of them together. They're all connected and they're still not soldered together so I can take it apart later. Also I cover them with heat shrink tubing so that they can't short out together. So that's a definite necessary thing. So there's no chance of anything in here sorting out. I mounted everything in here with my usual plastic threading screws. I double sided taped the compass down and also the power boost. It's just easier because there actually isn't any mounting holes on the compass or the power boost. The base and the top is obviously 3D printed as you saw. These buttons are mounted in with some thin plastic which I cut to fit behind the buttons and then I screwed them in that way. And they're pretty secure, I wouldn't really push on them that hard, but they trigger just fine. Also this project is pushing the bounds of the GPIO on the trinket. The GPS actually needs the RX and the TX if you want to send it commands, but it's already set up. so. Instead, we're using the TX on the trinket as a, an I.O., as a button in. And also, I wanted to have two buttons, but I forgot about the NeoPixel, so I actually ran out of buttons. So this one is now a reset, but how I'm going to make that work is I'm going to have it so that if you hold the other button, press reset, that'll bring up a new set of commands, like selecting your next location or doing something like that. So this is just part one. It's just the hardware. I'll have a schematics diagram. And on the GitHub, you'll be able to download all this if you want to assemble it. You'll probably see the code there too, but there won't be a video for a few weeks. I've got to head back to my hometown, plant the little geocache locations for my nephew, and take the locations, and I'll show you how all that's going to work in the next video. I'm working on the program right now. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when the next video is out. I'll be talking about the software, 
and showing you how it works and I'll show you where I'm hiding all the things and how I'm collecting the location. So everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good night.